Hey everyone, this is Dan. It's Monday morning, April fifth, two thousand and twenty-one. I bought some shares of the ETF TQQQ as of last Thursday, with the expectation that there will be a tech sector recovery in the next few days. I might buy more TQQQ today. Let me explain what I see in the market. First of all, I like to explain that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies for educational purpose only. You should make your own decision with regard to buying or selling stocks, and should consult with your financial advisors before you do so. Let's continue. First of all, what's TQQQ? It's the triple ETF pegged to the Nasdaq 100 index. In other words, the volatility of TQQQ is triple that of the Nasdaq 100 index. I posted a video on January 11th, 2021, to talk about the leakages related to ETFs. In that video, I mentioned that for TQQQ, the average leakage per year is 11.1 percent, even though the posted expense ratio is only 0.95 percent. What does that mean? And that means if we bought TQQQ today, a year from now, if the Nasdaq 100 index Goes up and down, and finally return back to the same value today. Then, had you bought the Nasdaq 100 index, you would have ended up with the same amount of money. But since you have been holding TQQQ, you should expect your portfolio to have gone down by 11 percent on the average. That's what I mean by ETF leakage. And that's why we have to be careful when we purchase TQQQ. We might not want to hold it for the long term. The good thing is that the Nasdaq 100 index has been going up on the average more than 11 percent in the last five to ten years. And since TQQQ is triple that, and that's why for people who have been holding TQQQ in the last few years, they have been making a lot of profit. There has been a sector rotation going on in the market. If you look at the market performance during the past month, the best performing sectors are the real estate sector and the utility sector. The technology sector, which is very much associated with the Nasdaq 100 index, has been the worst performing sector. However, if you look at the market in the last week, the best performing sector was the tech sector, and that's why I see this tech sector recovery coming. The good thing is that. This market was just going through rotation. The money is not leaving the market, like in the situation of a market crash. The money is just going from one side of the market to another side of the market, slushing around. Now is the time for the tech sector to be favored by the investors, and that's why it's a good time to buy TQQQ. There are a few news items recently that are very favorable to the market. First of all, the job report published last Friday. Exceeded the analysts' prediction. President Joe Biden wants to spend two trillion dollars on building infrastructures, which will, of course, create a lot of jobs and cause the market to go up. If you look at the pandemic in the U.S., where we have 32 percent of the people received the first dose of the vaccine already, 18.5 percent of the people having received the second dose. If you look at the daily new cases, it's been going down significantly. Although we're not quite at zero yet. Now, if you look at United Kingdom, where they have more people than the U.S. having received the first dose, 47.2 percent. Although they only have 8.1 percent of people receiving the second dose, their case decrease has been even more dramatic.、And、then, if you look at Israel, where they have 58.1 percent of the people having received the first dose and 53.2 percent of the people having received the second dose. Their daily case count is almost zero, and that's why we can expect the chart for the U.S. to look like this in the next three to four months. When the COVID pandemic is under control, that means the businesses will reopen, people will get hired back again, and the economy will start booming. The stock market will be very bullish. That's a long-term trend, I predict. Before we move on, I'd like to mention that if you like what you've seen already. Please click on the like, subscribe, and notification button so you can be notified when I publish the next video. And it is also for the sake of the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Let's look at the chart. This is the one-year chart based on a daily period for TQQQ. 
As of last Friday, it closed at 95.9, and this morning it has gotten up even higher at about 97 already. It's about nine o'clock Monday morning. In the last year, TQQQ went up by a whopping 313%, which is of course very impressive. However, since around February 17, it has been coming down a little bit. Later on, we will zoom into this area to see what's going on. In the meanwhile, a couple of days ago, we got the positive buy signal from the DMI indicator and also the buy signal from the MACD indicator. This is still the daily chart, except we have now zoomed into this one month period. We can see this triangular pattern, and then as of last Thursday, the price broke out of the triangular pattern heading upward. My prediction is that it will continue to go up. Again, we see the buy signal from DMI and the buy signal from MACD. This is the hourly chart. We see the triangular pattern here also, and the upward trend here breaking above the triangular pattern is even more obvious for the last couple of days. This chart is printed at 6.30 a.m. this morning. As you can see during pre-market, the price continued to pick up. That's a very bullish sign. Again, we have the buy signal from DMI and the buy signal from MACD. The RSI indicator is flashing a warning because it's above 75, it's almost at 80. That means it's overboard. And in the meanwhile, the S&P index reached the all-time high as of last Friday. That means in the next two, three days, S&P might be pulling back and then retest that all-time high before it goes even higher. When S&P is pulling back, it might pull down the NASDAQ 100 index as well. And that's why we have to be very careful in the next few days. Overall, I believe the long-term trend is bullish. But short term, we might see some price adjustments. Let's look at the support and resistance levels. This is the daily chart. I see the support level at 92. The next level of support will be at 88, which coincidentally is the 20 day moving average, which will be a pretty strong support. And then the next support level will be 84. For the next resistance level, I see that at 100. And then at 108, and then of course the all time high of 111. In addition to looking at the charts and paying attention to the news, I also have built a computer model for TQQQ. I used two types of indicators for my model the moving averages and also the stochastic indicator. As you probably know, the moving average crossover method is generally very powerful when the price is going up or when the price is going down. Whereas a stochastic indicator is good when the price is pretty much going sideways. That's why I build the model to be able to handle the situations when the price is either heading up, down, or sideways. But I need to optimize the model. What I did was that I came up with six different parameters. They are the period for the stochastic indicator, the short, medium, and long-term periods for the moving averages, and the lower and upper limits for the stochastic indicators where it's flagging a buy or sell signal. I then back tested my model from 2006 to 2021 based on the daily closing price. And I tried thousands of combinations of the six parameters to maximize my profit and minimize losses during the bad years. As you might know, TQQQ did not start until 2009. For data prior to 2009, I converted the QQQ data to the equivalent values for TQQQ and plugged those numbers into the model. This is a graphical representation of the result of my computer model. The gray line here is the portfolio value based on the buy and hold strategy. I set January 6, 2006 to be at 100% value. Of course, during the course of the last 14 years, TQQQ has appreciated significantly in value. However, we do see this significant dip during the 2008-2009 market crash and also these dips. Now the green line here is the result of using my computer model 
and because it's recommending either buying or selling or shorting the market and that's why actually when the market is going through a major dip like what happened during the 2008 market crash the model recommended shorting the market and that's why the portfolio actually increased and as you can see had we followed the triggers issued by the model it would have been a lot more profitable and without a lot of major dips what does the model say about today the model issued actually a buy signal last Thursday which was March 31 2021 and that's the time when I bought TQQQ shares in the next few days as the price continues to move up and down I will provide update notes below this video to tell you whether I'm buying or selling shares of TQQQ and that's why if you're watching this video a few days after April 5th 2021 make sure to check the update section of this video in case I've entered update notes and also I'd like to remind you to click the like subscribe and notification button thank you very much as usual I will very much appreciate your comments questions and suggestions this wraps up my video for now I will talk with you again in the next few days in the meanwhile I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.